Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Before studying polyhedrals, let us recollect polygon. A polygon is a closed curve formed by line segments such that no two line segments intersect except at their endpoints. That means a square, a rectangle, any quadrilateral, or pentagon, hexagon, octagons, heptagons, and all are polygons. But a circle is not a polygon as it is not made up of line segments. Now let us define a polyhedron. A solid shape bounded by polygon is called a polyhedron. For example, a cube is made up of squares and a cuboid is made up of rectangles. So they are perfect examples of polyhedrons. And in this chapter we will study more type of polyhedrons. Let us now look at some solid shapes which are not polyhedrons and understand why is it so. Look at these solid shapes. A cone, a cylinder and a sphere. We can say that all these three are not polyhedrons because because they are not made of polygons. Or in other words, we can say because in their shapes there are circles included and we have already discussed that circle is not a polygon. Let us define faces of a polyhedron. Polygons forming a polyhedron are known as its faces. For instance, in a cube, squares combine to make the cube. So each of the square is the face of this cube. Next we define edges. Line segments common to the intersecting faces of a polyhedron are known as its edges. That means the two faces, this one and this one, are meeting at a line. This line is called edge. And likewise, we have many edges where the faces are meeting. And lastly, we define vertices. Points of intersection of edges of a polyhedron are known as its vertices. That means one of the edges, this one, the other edge is this one, another edge is this one. And they are intersecting at this point. Similarly, some of the edges are intersecting at this point. And so on. So each of them is a vertex. And together they are known as vertices. Also remember that in a polyhedron, three or more edges meet at a point to form a vertex. Because... We have defined polyhedron as a solid shape. That means it's a three-dimensional figure. Let us discuss special type of polyhedron called prism. Consider two triangles. Say A, B, C and A dash, B dash, C dash. And both of them are congruent. Let us join A to A dash, B to B dash and C to C dash. 
if we imagine that it is a solid structure it would look something like this and it is called a triangular prism so now we can define a prism as it is a solid whose side faces are parallelograms and whose end faces are congruent parallel rectilinear figures clearly we can see that side faces are parallelograms and the end faces are triangles which are congruent and they are also rectilinear figures means basically that they are polygons also depending on the polygon used as the end faces a prism can be classified as rectangular prism if ends are squares parallelopipe prism if ends are parallelograms a pentagonal prism if the ends are pentagons and so on let us now define another special polyhedron called a pyramid let us consider a hexagon a b c d e and f and let us consider a point o not lying on the hexagon join a to o b to o c to o similarly d to o e to o and f to o will give us a solid shape called a pyramid if you imagine this to be a solid figure it would look something like this but in this case base is a square and all the other sides are triangles while in our figure base is a hexagon and all the other sides are triangles hence we define pyramid as a polyhedron whose base is a polygon of any number of sides and whose other faces are triangles let us define a special type of pyramid called triangular pyramid or a tetrahedron a pyramid is called a triangular pyramid if its base is a triangle so let us consider a triangle abc and a point o which does not lie on abc we join a to o b to o and c to o the solid figure so obtained is called a tetrahedron now let us define a regular polyhedron a polyhedron is said to be a regular polyhedron if its faces are made up of regular polygons and the same number of faces meet at each vertex let us recollect the regular polygon a regular polygon is a polygon whose all sides and all angles are equal now you read the definition of regular polyhedron you will understand that the faces of a regular polyhedron are congruent regular polygons and its vertices are formed by the same number of faces and so we can say that cube is a regular polyhedron 
while cuboid is not a regular polyhedron. Let us now define convex polyhedron. If the line segment joining any two points on the surface of a polyhedron entirely lies inside or on the polyhedron, then it is said to be convex polyhedron. Otherwise, it is a concave polyhedron. Consider the two polyhedrons on the screen. Clearly, in the first figure, we can find that the line segment joining any two points on the surface of cuboid entirely lies inside or on the cuboid. So, it is a convex polyhedron. But for the second polyhedron, we can see that although some of the line segments are lying on the polyhedron, but some of the line segments are not lying. For instance, see this one. This lies half on the polyhedron and rest outside the polyhedron. Similarly, if we join these two points, some of the portion lies on the polyhedron while other portion doesn't lie. So we can say that it is a concave polyhedron.